Hey guys, welcome back to the Corruption series. My name is B-Dub and today we are on day 14, which we all know what that means is a little bit of horn night later on. Uh, so what I'm going to do quickly here, if I remember where all my food and water is, I need a little bit of water here, so I'll smash back a, a water. And I'll hit a, one of these. Let's, uh, let's have some sham, eh? Let's have some sham and then we'll go out and we'll hand these quests in so I don't have these boxes in my inventory. And then we will head out to uh, maybe do another quest or do something like that. Also, I did hear something earlier on. If I can see it, I don't know where it is. But I'm very scared of leaving my base without knowing at least where it is. Go. What I'm looking for is a wolf. I heard one before and I don't want to get mauled by it. Anyway, uh, I just thought it was over there for a second. My bad. All right, so uh, what we will do is we'll. Oh, here it is, right here. I'll see if I can run it over and uh, kill it. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Give me your meats, give me your goodies. Alright guys, what we'll do is I'll head off to the trader and uh, hand this quest in and then uh, we will uh, so we'll head to the trader anyway and I'll see you there and then work out what we want to do from there. Alright, let's go see what he's got for us. Oh, it's too early. Um, Two minutes too early. Let's, uh, there we go. Now you're open, buddy. Cool. Let's go see what he's got for us. Um, You've made cool. my day. Uh, all right, let's see. This is better. So that should not be better, but we'll check it. Correct. Uh, it might be. Oh, actually. I'll put the pocket mod. Now nah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go. Uh, 7.62. I think it's the right way to go. Kill some utility workers. Nice. And we've got buried supplies. Uh, well, let's see where we have to go on the map for that other quest. Hand in. Oh, we got one in each. So one here, one there. So, oh, I mean, northeast. Uh, let's just ping this here for a second. See, that's 1.3. So anything kind of in that area, I guess, is fine. If we have to go northeast. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of that. Uh, we'll click that. That'll be in that town. Oh, it's a bomb shelter. Oh, it's not in the town, but it's close enough. I will be happy with that. And let's just quickly see what he has. If he's got anything interesting for us. So Hunter's uh, Journal, which is nice. Oh, we'll do 10% more to Vultures. Yes, please. Those things are hor horrible. Horrible people. Um, chainsaw. 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 Jesus Christ, get my words right. Chainsaw Schematic. Uh, that could be good too. Crucible. That means I can get steel and I don't have to go straight to uh, the maximum in intellect. That is very tempting. Very tempting. Uh, I'm actually going to save my money for now. And see... You have a great let's see what he's got. I'll get some food if it's here, but apart from that... Um, we will, yeah, we'll leave that for now. We'll go collect all these other quests. Uh, and then go back maybe and see what money we have. And that might be one of the big buys that we're going to have to use our money for. Because that is extremely handy, especially really early on. So anyway, we will head over to these other traders and uh, see what we get from them. Alright, we're at this trader. Now let's see what he's going to give us. Let us see what he will give us. <coughs> Anything decent? Um, armor sir. better? I mean, it's more heavy armor rating and more crit resistant. Um, what am I wearing? Uh, I mean, I'll lose a slot. I, I kind of like the extra slot. I mean, it doesn't do a lot, but just having the extra slot is nice. I'm not even using all three slots that I could be, so, I mean, 
I don't know. What's it worth? It's worth the most anyway. So I'll take it for now. And we'll see how it goes. Oh, tier two. That means I get a tier three quest from now. Um, oh, these are nice. I think I'm going to try to get a lot of the books. Uh, I just don't know what I want. We'll, we'll get this. We'll get that. Screw it. We'll do that. Got any special jobs? West 1.2Ks. Trader Bob. Where is Trader Bob? Over here. All right. Well, that might be a, a thing we're going to do today. We'll go see Bob. Um, okay. He's got a little bit of food in here. Let's quickly check what else he's got. Uh, this is food. Let's have a look. Have a look. Nail gun schematic. Oh, they, both these. Everyone's got all the goodies today. So at least either we're going to get to go shopping today or tomorrow, depending on time. Um. Well, because he up updates, and we want tier three quests anyway. We will wait till he um updates we'll probably abandon that other quest and uh go from there but we'll see what this guy's got over here he got he might have reset uh once we hand it in so we'll go up here hand that in and then uh we'll go from there all right we're here at the third trader let's see what he's gonna give us let us see you did it great job shamway secret recipe I really want to make a can of jam. Um, that fire axe is looking pretty good, actually. I think we'll do that. That sounds good to me. Let's see. Yeah, he has got the tier threes. Beautiful. Southwest. That's towards my town. I've got just the task House old you. tutor. Thank you. Sounds good to me. Let's have a quick nosy at his gear. See if it's worth coming back up here. Hunter's journal. More damage to bears. That's always nice. Bicycle, he's got an AK. Uh, nothing really in that. No food. Uh, a little bit of resources here. Um, what else has he got? He's got clothes, nerdy glasses. Nothing really here I want. Pistol, he's got more ammo, which is nice as well. What? Have I got a weighted head mod? Yes, I do. So I don't need to bother about buying that. And that's about it for him. So he's not the most interesting chap. But that's fine. I'm fine with him not being super interesting. Because we're actually going to go. We'll take our money. We'll go back home. It's a bit of a trip. But we'll go back home. After I can't wrench that car. I've got to go over here and wrench these ones. I need a bit of fuel. Um, Yeah, what we'll do. We'll go back home. Drop off our little amount of food and storage stuff we've got. Grab our money. See how much we got. Um... Go have a look at this guy, see what he has of offer, and then probably come back down here and then uh, visit this uh, trader here and probably get that, um, what do you call it, the uh, crucible. Um, it seems like that is the good way to do it, uh, for now anyway. Oh, here is a zombie sneaking up on me. One there, one over there, we'll quickly wrench this. Do that before they turn up, and then swap to this. Hit her face. Hit this man's face. Sit down, please. There we go. Uh, we'll wrench this as well. All right, and we'll get this one as well. All right, uh, refuel this. Boom, 980. Uh, beautiful, that's full up. Won't have to worry about that for a hot minute. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll make sure actually I'll go past this place here, just see which one it is. Head home. And then uh I'll probably see uh actually at the new trader actually. So I will see you when uh I'm there. Alright guys, we're just rocking up here on the new trader. Old trader Bob. Let's go around and have a look what he's got to offer. Uh let's swap out to the looting goggles. All right, a bit of brass, that's always nice to make casing. A hammer that can be scrapped down. Nothing's on this side, right? I'm pretty sure everything's on this side over here. Uh, here's the forge. Uh, 
here is the chem station and i think it's this one here that the yeah there we go it's in this one i don't know why i like opening every single one of them though still but that's okay all right let's go check what food he will have in his kitchen can't take the chairs not a normal poi all right we got a little bit of dye uh, a couple of things i can scrap a lot of things are open so that makes it difficult uh toilet oh yeah i'll take it why not um i don't think there's anything upstairs either uh oh, there's a filing cabinet i'm wrong yeah, we got some arrows uh there is a trash bin over there but it is not what's a zombie out there let's go say hi to him uh, but it is not full so i'll have to ignore that trash bin oh hit the ground here we go oh another skill point i'll take that and how many have i got three all right, well, let's get this dumpster too, just in case he gives us something amazing in here that we can sell. Absolute nothing. Swing and a miss. Okay. I'll swap these glasses back just in case they're good. Many thanks. You proved to be very resourceful. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob. All right, so what do we got? Uh, we got some quests. What what in this town? East 184. And then we're going to fetch and clear two kilometers away. Can you do me we're going to do that. Oh, store book. Yes, please. Oh, now, where is that? I will make it worth your while. This one. All right. That is fine by me. So we did grab some extra money. We have uh, almost 20 grand, which is uh, nice. Let's have a quick look through here and see what we can find. So there is nothing that stands out. Straight off the bat there, what's this worth? Seven, so I'm not going to even sell that. I'm actually going to scrap it for the iron. He has some ammo here, which is nice, but again, not overly worried about it. Um, not yet anyway. Truck chassis. Already got a mini bike, so I don't have to worry about that. And then a gyrocopter accessory. So he's got some good stuff here. Just nothing that I am willing to pay for just yet. Um, more concrete would be nice. Um, for 200 and paying 850, I think I'm not going to worry about that. Maybe the cement instead. I will have enough money for other things too, so I should be okay there. Normally, I don't run a run out of uh, cobblestone. For now, I will not worry about it. I can't get into the gun safe, and I didn't pick up anything that I could sell him. So. All right, looks like we're going to head back over uh, after I name this trader. It's only a little, oh, excuse me, a little uh, small town up here. So it's not overly um, exciting. There's there's a few POIs. There is a, uh, I think as I was coming in, there's a Shamway Foods, if you can see to that top right of my screen over there. Um, apart from that, I'll have a quick ride around this town and then... Uh, if I find anything interesting, I'll I'll show it for uh, for you guys. But uh, apart from that, I will see you back at uh, my town's trader to get that crucible. So uh, if I don't see you before then, I'll see you then. All right, guys, we are just coming up to the trader now. We will go by this crucible, and that will make my life so much easier. Probably not. It's just very handy to have. Um, so we will. Where are we? Where was the crucible? Crucible. Here we go. One crucible coming up. Nice. It's a lot of money. We had. I had almost twenty k though. I've uh, been saving it up. So that's handy. I'll be. I'll buy this because we don't like vultures anyway. And ranger's guide uh, number one. Was there anything else? Chainsaw schematic. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'll pause on it. Day 16. We'll pause on it. I don't want to go too crazy with it. I haven't got a huge amount of money left. And if something else that's real handy comes up, I might just get that. Um, we'll get rid of this guy. This chap. This lady. Lovely lady right here. Ooh, one swing. It's definitely making it easier having the steel bat. It also sounds way nicer too. Anyway, what we'll do, head back home unload get ready for the horde night and uh let the uh horde charge me down and hopefully i'll survive i'll see you back at base
All right, guys, we are back here. I'll just pick up these blocks that I was using for a bit of a demo roof to try and work out what I like and what I don't like. Uh, I haven't finished this side, but I have done that side. I'm not not super happy with it still, so ooh, we will work out uh, what we want to do there anyway uh, after the Horde Night. What I'll do is I'll empty out all this stuff. I will uh, get ready for the Horde Night and see what uh, we need. All right, guys. We are up here in the tower, uh, waiting for the horde night. We only got another two hours to go. Uh, thought I'd show you what I got so far. So I thought I had an AK, which I don't, which is uh, lovely. So I have a just a hunting rifle. Probably won't use that very often. I'll probably stay with a shotgun, but uh, I've got it there just in case. High damage, slow fire rate. You know the you know the deal with them. Uh, pistol, I put a little mod on here just to try and increase any damage I could. It's not the highest damage thing, but it's the only gun I can spam, which may uh, come in handy later on. So any little bit of extra damage may help out with that too. Shotgun, as we do. Uh, probably the best one to decapitate uh, heads off zombies, so that's always fun. And uh, I haven't got a lot of ammo up here. I didn't bring too much uh, AK, or sorry, 7.62, because obviously single shot, that's still 600 rounds. Uh, brought up a little bit of a shotgun and a little bit of pistol. Hopefully that's going to be enough for tonight. Uh, the horde shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm used to kind of like having this much ammo over a, a 120 minute day horde night. So it should be good. Uh, got me some repairs if I need it. Some food and some uh, healing just in case. And uh, a re repair kits. I also filled my bike up which is... Uh, just sitting out here for now. Uh, if I have to launch out, I'll jump out of here and uh, we'll go for a ride if I need to escape. But apart from that, um, what I'll do is I will uh, just wait here for the horde and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, see how that goes. We'll wait and uh, see what happens. See you shortly. All right, guys, we're here for the horde night. Coming up, only five minutes left. Hopefully we should be good. Sorry today's been a little bit uh, kind of catching up on chores around the place. Uh, but hopefully today, or sorry, tonight will be a bit more exciting. So uh, let's see how this goes. I might start with this probably because I probably won't use it very, uh, I keep saying probably. I won't use it very uh, often in the Horde night. So see how that goes. First shot. Didn't even kill him. Well, didn't hit, kill him again. And this is my problem. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how this goes. Hit the dog. Punch him off. Oh, got him. It's not too bad so far. It's a bit quiet, actually. I wonder if some of these um, zombies are getting caught elsewhere. It should be max zombies. I'll double check that after this, but uh, put it on the screen for you through editing. Um, but I wonder if they're getting a little horde on stuff. Let's have a look. Is there anywhere? This doesn't feel like a lot of zombies here, so you know. Oh hello! Another headshot. Just keep plastering them anyway, and just they might just start crowding up soon. I know it's early days, but. This feels a bit weak, but weak sauce. Yeah, this is actually weak sauce. It's just nothing. Where are all my zombies? What happened? I don't even need guns. They gotta be trapped in a building or something. Surely. Like in this one here or over there or something. Anyway, we'll, we'll deal with what we've got to deal with here. We'll worry about that later on. A couple of dogs coming in now. I'm trying to be as calm as I can here. Just, uh. I don't really need to be stressing about this because there's just no one here. Like, not even in my gate. I'm in my safety gates here. Zombies are barely getting up the ramp. I don't want to go too crazy with a pistol. 
Uh, but the pistol does less damage to blocks, I think. So, also if I spam shoot it, it's not spraying all around here and damaging my blocks. So, oh, shot too high there. This was easier than last Horde night. This is pathetic. I hope they get out of whatever house they're stuck in. Uh, maybe a few more are coming up now. Already an hour down and barely done anything. Just step back here for a second because I want to check I've got yeah, I've got the correct glasses on. Yep. Might as well uh, get some of these bones and leather while I'm here. And the rotting flesh will be good. Uh, there's a jumping or spider spider zombie, whatever they're called. Absolutely hate those. Right next to uh I'll close this for a second. Right next to the vultures. Vultures are just as bad. Uh, spiders aren't as bad because they uh, you can kind of sidestep when they jump at you. In this base, it's a little bit uh, not as easy. They're actually, this base isn't perfect for them because they get stuck kind of in the fence here. There's a bird though. And that's what the bars are there for. They're working out pretty good, if I say so myself. It's like I've built this base before and maybe understood how it works and how the zombie pathing works and <laughs> something like that anyway. Alright, well. I could probably melee swing these guys. I mean, I could. I could if I could aim. We'll close that now since I have to deal with this guy in my base. There we go. Try and make it a little harder for myself, but. They get punted too, so it's also harder to swing there. Yeah, everything's doing well. Let's uh, keep this firing away. One of, one of his head. Oh, missed his head. Completely crashed that. Oh, she's a feral. She's a feral. Out. I can't jump when I reload. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing great. The good thing I, I feel about this base as well is uh, because they're all run up a single path, if you do shoot one, you kind of end up spraying onto the next one or two as well. I'll reload here and I'll show you what I mean. So, you know, one's coming up here now and then there's a couple behind them. So you just kind of like shoot down the row and hit all of them. I also uh, have to aim a little bit better than I have been. There we go. She lost her harm, but that's fine. What if I rifle down here? Will that help? Probably shouldn't waste a lot of my rifle just for the sake of rifling. All right. Where's Birdie? He's in here? Oh, he must have kind of flown from the back. I haven't finished this back bit, so... Understandable. Understandable. That is fine. Because they don't actually fly from the, the sky. They kind of fly from, like, this angle. So sometimes they will get caught, like, underneath. So maybe I'll, uh... If I do this for a second... Just, just doing a bit of base building. Right here while I'm, uh... In Horde Night. This is kind of why it's in a, a bit of an AFK base. Like, you can kind of not really do much. And when you upgrade this turret, he punches faster. And then when you get to the top level, you can also uh, have two of them. So it kind of just double protection there. Which is always nice. I'm not going to aim down sights. I'm going to end up missing. Oh, she's just mid-air floating. Alright. Let's see what's going on. I really feel like there's not enough zombies. It feels like eight zombies. Once the Horde Knight ends, I may do another one because this is a little bit BS here. I don't feel like this is fair. I feel like uh, 
I need to be putting a bit more uh, a bit more on the base but in the middle of Horde Night I don't really want to stop it so uh oh he got punched might loot this here quickly um I got a little bit of water not really too much lost her here level up I will take that please Zombies. At least they're dropping a few bags. Oh, I'm not getting max experience here. That is silly of me. Yeah. We're all kind of grouping up now. Thank you, Punchy Turret. Make sure she has no head left. Make sure you shoot after they jump. Otherwise they end up being in a weird spot. The animations are strange and... You know, zombies do weird things. The reason why I'm kind of coming out of here a bit more is like if I use the shotgun, if I'm closer, it'll do more damage. The spread's not so bad. So see how this bottom one's taking a bit of damage? That's actually probably more from me than anyone else. Oh, this must be the last zombie. Alright. Well, what we're going to do is I feel like that's a little unfair. So I'll loot all this. I got a little bit of money, got a little bit of food. Oh, I got a better wrench. That's an upgrade. All right, I heard something. Where are they getting stuck? You are encumbered. That's not a good sign. Let's uh, empty out into the bike here quickly first before I go running around the neighborhood uh, trying to uh, find zombies. Uh, we'll get rid of that, get rid of that. All right. I hear a zombie over here. Hello, sir. All right. Don't think I hear any other ones. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of the game. This is one of the little things you can do if you want to ex extend your horde night out and get a bit more experience. A little cheaty, but I feel like it's necessary because I don't. That was a poor horde night. So what I'm going to do is jump out of the game. I'm going to reset it um by jumping out and back in on the horde night and i'm also going to up the zombies if for whatever reason they're not high enough um they should be set on 32 or 64 and i'm not too sure why they aren't so we'll be back here in a second all right guys we're back in the world and we've reset it it was set to eight zombies which is kind of strange i don't know what it's set for that maybe it got reset at some stage when i was messing around with other worlds or something like that Anyway, we're on 32 zombies, where I, or where I think I wanted it originally. This is looking a bit healthier now. Um, so we'll just wait till they kind of bundle up a little bit more. Oh, so this is what I was saying about they're a little bit hard to deal with in this type of base because they poke their head through. Uh, but you just shoot them through here when they're poking through. Uh, sometimes they don't, they're not as nice as that, but yeah, this is what I was expecting. A little bit more and I have to actually stand in here protect myself a bit more so this is good this is good i'm happy i'm glad i reset it um i felt like that was a little bit of a poor effort for a uh, horde knight so let's at least make it a little bit more challenging so now at least if there is a couple of zombies you know stuck like in that fence over there then uh we're good we're gonna have a lot more so still doing not a bad job here when i say not a bad job i'm I'm doing atrocious, and this guy here is doing great. Alright, where did that guy go? He's still up there? Hello, buddy. Oh, lose your head, lose your head. I'm really trying to just shoot for the, the legs. You have to shoot your own wall. Alright, let's heal this up a bit. Oh, did I hear a... Uh, a big boy zombie? A cop? I didn't see one, but I thought I heard one just the growling. Maybe it was a uh, Hawaiian?
All right. I'm going to have to repair this gun here anyway. Yeah, and dogs and stuff, their heads go through and sometimes you can't see them. It does make it a bit more frustrating, but hey, it's all good. Yeah, this whole nice bit better. I'm a bit more happy now. Look at that. Lovely head getting stuck in here. I'll just take a screenshot quickly. Mid hold night, you know. Gotta get those thumbnails. Alright. Yeah, this is, this is better. This is I'm very I'm happy about this. This is what I wanted to uh, kind of show off. Is kind of how the base works. I think it works quite well. Um and like I said, once you upgrade this guy a bit more, he really kind of like steps up and shines on how well he does um add mods into him too he kind of like punts him quite well um yeah and then you can quite literally just put a couple of turrets up and uh they'll shoot your your zombies and stuff you could also use a um there is a way of doing it is if you put uh, a turret here and you have it sitting up here it can look out there as well as this punchy turret so it's blasting away and you can basically do nothing uh where is he he's up here one shot with that hey i'll take it hey oh hello get on my door excuse me shotgun's coming out yeah this is a bit better bring on the zombies all right poke your head through again oh all right bat him away another, another zombie bird oh missing yeah they seem a little weak they are actually on warrior difficulty i just checked that as we went out before so we are good it might just be early game that's why they're a bit weaker here but that's all right for now one step at a time, that's kind of how the game goes. Hear another dog down there. Reload while I have a second. Here's my pistol. Pistol's a bit more fun. You get to spam and actually shoot some zombies. Oh, punchy turret's just kicking off my loot. Oh, there we go. We got another level up. Level 5. Have a quick look after this and uh, see what we can get. Yeah, still piling in quite well. Yeah, I think this is a lot. I can probably up the difficulty if I'm being honest. Maybe not up the difficulty, up the zombies for the Horde Knight. Uh, like I said, I set them on 32, so I can go up to 64. And then if that goes well for the next Horde Knight, I think maybe we go up again uh, to the difficulty um and maybe put it on insane or something i don't know uh if there's anything above war oh there is definitely one above warrior i don't know if there's two above warrior um so we'll see how that goes um but i'm definitely keen to make it harder because this base definitely can handle it and it's mainly just for that if these guys actually without his turret you could probably still do it uh because they would try and pile up here and then push each other off but you would have a big pile of zombies right here in your face uh but it would actually work without the punchy turret as long as they stair step up you can kind of have that breathing room like i am here to like fix the door like oh yeah i need to fix that need to reload my guns um so yeah as they knock each other off it's also uh they're kind of clumsy you know zombies aren't the most clever clever things around all right we are coming up into the horde tonight round two <laughs> but we'll see how that goes we're almost there i wouldn't say we'll be safe even when it chimes but there we go there it's slowing down no more respawns of zombies so we'll wait for the last couple to kind of come in and then check our loot
Last couple. A little skater boy. We'll go out here now. I didn't use too much ammo. I think I went through about a thousand. Oh, sorry. About 300 rounds of. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Maybe 350 or so of. Uh, not a 9mm. I'm trying to remember what it was called for a second. There is another zombie. Just slowly walking up. Hey, buddy. You're the last guy. Thanks for Horde Night. I appreciate it. Anyway, so. I will uh, loot these bagos. See what we get. And uh, that was it. That was Horde Night. One more up here. I'm uh, quite happy with how that went. After we reset it, obviously. I like the more chaos, chaotic uh, way of the Horde Night. Uh, it shows kind of what this base can do. Didn't take too much damage. See, once I repaired that and didn't use the shotgun directly at it. Uh, it wasn't too bad. A little bit of damage on this from just kind of uh, maybe a, a stray shot here and there. Zombie hit on that. Barely anything. There's this one, this one here. And uh, yeah, it does get a lot more uh, rowdy when they start hitting on this stuff and actually breaking it. The only bad part about this base here is if they do break, let's just say this block or this block. Uh, that is where they start kind of going ham on the base because what happens is they break this. This is a too high block. Only one zombie can hit this. What happens is they start coming up, fall off, start bashing on this, and then you start getting big holes in here. And that's why I kind of like did a full wall here to make sure that's all structurally sound. Anyway, that's enough of the base. That's enough of that talk. We got through the Horde night. It was a success. And uh, yeah, so... Next episode, we will come back and uh, might do a little bit of upgrading with the base. Might do some of these tier three quests and uh, carry on with the with the game. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. This is also what I got for the Horde Knight. Um, didn't get a lot of loot. Got a tier three sledge, which is nice. Um, got Urban Combat Volume Four, and just a little bit of a random crap a pretty good upgrade here for a ratchet a little bit of ammo and a little bit of food uh, but that was it i thought i'd just show you quickly because i know a lot of people like to know what you get from those so anyway thanks for watching guys and have a good one